The Bible said that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word proceeded out the mouth of God. Welcome to the teaching ministry of Mark K. Miller, pastor of the Maranatha Family Worship Center. At the end of this dynamic teaching, we will give you contact information. Please enjoy the following sermon entitled, Follow the Leader. In the scripture, I just want to jump right in. Joshua, the third chapter, the first through the second verse. And, and it's, it's, it's actually Joshua 1 through 17. We're going to read the whole chapter. Okay, but I want to just go with it beforehand. Before I start reading, I want you to understand something. I want you to understand that God wants you to follow leadership. Did you hear me? God wants you to follow leadership. Leadership, what you need to understand, that leadership is the difference between a growing and a stagnant church, a growing and a stagnant business, even a family or a community. Are you following me? You need leadership. And God wants you to assume some leadership in your home. (laughs) Hello, somebody. He wants you to be counted. The Bible says, let your light so what? Shine before what? Men. That they may see what? Your good works and glorify the Father which is in what? Heaven. So he wants you, you to establish leadership. And he wants you to follow leadership is that all right and how many people when they were younger did you ever do follow the leader and what the leader did that's what you're supposed to do i can't hear you what the leader does that is what you're supposed to do so when the leader see here's the problem though when you don't have good leadership then you don't have good fellowship So uh, let me just throw this out there, leaders of the Maranatha Family Worship Center, Church of God in Christ. Leaders, do we come here on time? And if you don't come on time, how do you expect other folk to come here on time? Leaders, if you don't praise them, how do you expect other folks to praise him. Leaders, if you're falling out by the wayside of everything that happens in the world, how do you expect others to have faith in God if you don't have any faith? So today, today I want to talk to you just a little bit, just a little bit. And Ramey, I'm going to keep you awake, brother. I'm going to keep you awake. If you give me a chance, brother, you'll be all right. Amen. Amen. Give, Give my nephew a hand. Amen. You'll be all right, brother. Joshua, the third chapter, the first verse. Here we go. And Joshua rose early. Now, wait, before I do that, I got to give you the history. I forgot to give you the history. Children of Israel have wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. It was coming to an end. The Bible says that Moses, my servant, is dead. Moses left instruction to take He told Joshua to take the children of Israel over into the promised land, but they had to cross over Jordan. Now, Jordan was an obstacle that you need to understand. Jordan was defined as an obstacle from getting to where God wants them to be. Are you following me? So the river Jordan, the Bible says that it flooded every year and it was uncrossable you know when when it's when it's when it's not very deep you know when it's shadow when you know the the the, the rains haven't come you know you can kind of wade the children through the water come on somebody yeah yeah y'all 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 folk know way in the water okay (laughs) you can do that if the if it's not so deep but This was the flooding time of Jordan. And so the Jordan River, how do you say, it was an obstacle for the children of Israel. Okay, so, but Joshua wanted to take the children over the Jordan. Is that all right? So here we pick this up in Joshua, the third chapter, the first verse. And Joshua rose early in the morning, and they removed from Shittim and came to Jordan. And he and all the children of what? And lodged there before they passed over. 
And it came to pass after three days, the officers went through the host. Now, what you need to understand that the Bible told Joshua to camp at the River Jordan. And they had to wait there three days. Now, my question to you is why did they have to wait? The Bible says that they had to sanctify themselves to get ready for the crossing. Are you hearing me? Now, what God wants to do with us, he wants us to sanctify and prepare ourselves for the crossing. God is getting ready to do something, but there's Sister Beattie, there might be a little obstacle that we've got to cross. And we can only do it. <laughs> the stuff that you've been going through, you can only get through it if you have God's anointing. If you have the presence of God. I can't hear you. How many people want his presence? How many people want his presence in your life? Well, you've got to sanctify yourself. You've got to set yourself apart. You've got to tell him, hey, I got to leave you alone. Oh, I, I, you got to tell her, I, I, I know you're cute, but I got to leave you alone. I'm trying to get somewhere. I'm trying to get to God. I'm trying to get to my miracle. So what are we saying? What are we saying? Sometimes you got to let some folks go when you're trying to get to your miracle. Uh, I, I'm going to tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. As long as someone else is wearing your husband's shoes, he can never put his foot in them shoes. Oh, y'all don't hear me. You gotta tell him Sometimes you gotta tell that brother Take off them shoes These is my husband's shoes I, I, I got to leave you alone God's got a blessing God's got a miracle He's trying to work something out In me Therefore Gotta go I want God. My son just went back to college and, and we were talking. And we were talking about his basketball and I said, you know what? More than anything, more than anything, y'all stop. Stop all the heartache and, 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 and the praise. More than anything else, I want my son to be saved. Because when it's all said and done, only what you do for Christ Listen, listen, you can have all the money. You can take it, take it, take it. I want my son to be saved. I want my daughter to be saved. I want your son to be saved. I want your daughter to be saved. See, I, I, can I just preach just a little bit? I just want to teach this. See, I don't understand. We put everything ahead of God. Can I just talk? And we want to know why our children go astray when they're old. I, I can't hear you. Listen, listen, I, I'm, trying, I'm trying to say something. I'm, I'm, we're in this together. Sister Beattie, we're in this together. Yeah. Do you hear what I'm saying? Right. I didn't have scares. Yes. I didn't have turmoil. Yeah. I didn't have all kinds of stuff happen oh, in my... Yeah. I ain't got time to talk about you and your kids. Right. All I'm trying to tell you what's right. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. Now, see, here it is. Listen, if we put in God first, if God is first, why is it that it seems like other things come before God? I told my kids, and I, I, I can only say about mine, I told mine, and, I'm, I, and you say, the, the message is follow the leader, so I'm, I'm okay. I told mine, sis, that yes, you play basketball, but yes, you will go to church. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And when he had a game, here was his coach, when he had a game, he had a game at 1 o'clock, what did we tell him? You coming to church first, then you're going to and then he said he had practice. They said they got practice at, at, at 12. I said, my son won't be at practice on no Sunday. I said, he'll, be, he'll come to a game, but he ain't going to practice. 